How's it going Eliminators? Today we're going to be doing some ethanol content testing using an alcohol content tester that we purchased from Stens. So let's get right into it. So we have here our alcohol content tester. So what is an alcohol content tester? Well, it's quite simple. It's just a glass vial, but they give you these markings on them. So the instructions say that you fill this glass vial with water up until this line right there. Once you've filled the vial with water, you're going to fill the rest of the vial with fuel. You're going to then shake this vial and then you're going to let it sit in the upright position just like that for five minutes. You'll get your water and the water will always settle to the bottom and then you'll have what should be fuel in ethanol free fuel from the water line all the way up to the top point where you filled the fuel to. If you have water up to the 10% line, you will know that you have either 10%, 20% or 85% ethanol content in your fuel. This kit is made by Tiny Tester. It is an alcohol content tester for gasoline and we purchased this from Stens and the Stens number is a 750-760. I have right here just a shot glass filled with some 91 octane fuel that I purchased at Canadian Tire here in Ontario, Canada. I also have a little tiny funnel that I'm going to be using and Canadian Tire specifies that their 91 octane does not contain any ethanol whatsoever. So for all all of our small engine repair work that we do, we drain out the customer's fuel tank and then we normally put about one liter of 91 octane and you guys can see there EF stands for ethanol free. Now the reason that we use ethanol free fuel is quite simple. The ethanol just starts to degrade and you'll get what almost looks like a calcium buildup but it's actually ethanol crystals that just completely break down inside of the carburetor and I can show you guys a little picture here. This is the bowl from a fuel shutoff valve on a Honda engine that I pulled off. I ended up replacing the carburetor because this thing was just so gummed up. Now not only will ethanol cause a breakdown of fuel inside of your carburetor but ethanol is a grain alcohol which will eventually eat away at your rubber fuel lines. Small engines aren't meant to run on anything higher than 10% ethanol. I highly recommend running fuel without any ethanol in it whatsoever. So I'm going to come in here with my water and try to get it to the line there. Any extra I can drain out. Now because of the camera angle it may look a little low but we are actually right on the line. So now I'm going to take my little funnel here and my shot glass of 91 octane fuel and I'm going to fill up the rest of the vial here. So I'm going to try to get a good shot of this for you guys but you're going to notice that the 91 octane fuel is sitting perfectly on top of the water. So this is the separation line right there between the clear water and the 91 octane that has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it and I filled it right up to the neck. So I have the cap on now you guys can see that the water and the fuel are still separated so like the manual says we're going to vigorously shake this up and then I'll start a timer for you guys so you can kind of see what's happening here. The fuel and the water have now mixed together you guys can see that it's kind of foamy in there but you can already see the water is starting to settle to the bottom that's actually pretty cool so it says to let this sit for five minutes and I'll let you guys watch as this happens but you can see all of the water inside of the fuel there check that out that's actually pretty neat okay so it's been exactly five minutes and we're gonna have a little closer look and you guys can see that the water is at the same level and the gasoline is also at the same level now you're gonna see a little bit of water so maybe letting this sit for longer than five minutes might be beneficial however this test just proves the point that we're getting what we're paying for we're buying 91 octane fuel obviously 91 octane is more expensive but we're buying it because it says there's no ethanol in it so if there was ethanol in it then there would be no point to paying a higher price we could just go out and buy some 89 octane or some 87 instead and just to show you guys water is at the same level no trickery here so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some 89 octane and I'll do this test again now by no means am I a scientist but uh, I'm just trying to make my test as thorough as possible so I've taken a little bit of paper towel and I'm just drying out 
the inside of here to collect any of the water droplets that may remain. And I'm also doing the same for the shot glass here just to ensure that uh, there's no remnants of the 91 octane when I test the 89. Okay, so once again, I have water lined up to the water line. I'll probably spill a little bit here, but I'm gonna try to fill this up to the neck. That should be good right there. So the water is to the line, the fuel is to the neck. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up quite vigorously. The cap is on secure. And then I'll start the timer and let this sit for five minutes and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so it's been just over five minutes, almost six minutes now, and we can see that this fuel has 10% ethanol in it. So check this out, guys. This is really cool. So just like I suspected, the 89 octane that I get at Canadian Tire has 10% ethanol in there. So I'm gonna try to get a good shot. So you can see the separation line has risen from where the water line was when we filled it up. So in order to explain why it looks like there's more water in the vial, we have to understand the science behind it. Alcohol molecules have what's known as polar and nonpolar parts, which means that the alcohol molecules are able to form bonds with the hydrogen molecules inside of the water. Therefore, the two are able to mix, giving the illusion of more water inside of the vial. So going back to why you don't wanna be running ethanol fuel or letting your machine sit with fuel that has ethanol in it, what will happen is the water will eventually evaporate into the atmosphere and the ethanol will remain. It will break down and it will end up forming that white gunk that you saw earlier in the video. So if you guys have the opportunity to be purchasing ethanol free fuel, I would highly recommend it. You don't necessarily have to purchase 91 octane premium fuel like we do because in some places you may be able to purchase like 87 octane or 89 octane that has zero ethanol in it. But that's it for today's video. We were able to do two tests on 91 octane ethanol free fuel and also 89 octane fuel that had 10% ethanol in it and the differences were quite noticeable. We were able to see that the water content in the 91 did not rise yet in the 89 it did and it showed a clear 10% ethanol content in that fuel. Now I don't have to be doing these tests very often. I bought the kit for about $10 on Stens and the test just proves that I was getting what I'm paying for. I can do these tests maybe once every couple months to ensure that I'm still getting what I'm paying for and that there's zero ethanol in the 91 octane fuel. If you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content, and as always guys, Thanks for watching.